Hmm. So I contemplated whether or not I actually wanted to film any of this and um, I decided I wanted to um, for a few reasons. So uh, last week I tore my ACL. Um, I just found out yesterday that that's what happened um, on Friday. Just doing my regular training, I felt totally fine. I um, was re-racking a jerk, something I've done tons and tons of times and um, I felt a huge tear popping sound, um, was in a lot of pain, um, was very hopeful that it might have been um, something that I could come back from relatively quick especially with, you know, with push championships coming up in July and having worked uh, very hard to prep for that in the season. And um, yeah, so yesterday I got an MRI, got the results back um, and yeah, um, not the news I wanted to hear. Um, I have a full tear of my ACL, um, some like grade one sprains uh, or strains of um, some other stuff in there, but uh, I will need ACL reconstruction surgery, so I'm going, I have an appointment tomorrow to meet with a doctor. I'm gonna get this surgery done as soon as possible. It still feels very much uh, like a bad dream, um, and trust me, I've, I don't know if I have any more tears left in me. Uh, spent pretty much all day yesterday just in tears. Um, and just can't really believe this is happening, to be honest. Um, I know in the grand scheme of my life and all of the, this will, um, everything will be okay. Um, it just hurts really bad right now. Um, um, I guess I'm not done crying. <laughs> Just feeling pretty heartbroken at this point. Um, and just a mix of sad and mad. And even though I don't really feel like it right now, I know I'm stronger than this. Um, and this year, this season, is definitely not gonna look the way I wanted it to. But I still have a lot to look forward to. And um, it's just gonna look a lot different. Um, and I may not understand it now, but I know I'll look back years from now and it'll all make sense. It just doesn't really right now. Um, and I just have to, um, as hard as it is sometimes, I just have to trust in God's plan. And, um, yeah, I still plan on coming back stronger than ever, um, lifting lots of weights, um, and... Yeah, I, uh, I just really wanted to share this with you guys, even though it's really hard and so much of me just wants to kind of like, <laughs> just go dark on here in social media and just kind of not do anything until I'm back. But you know, you guys have been so supportive throughout everything. I mean, through CrossFit, through that shoulder surgery and through changing sports and all this stuff and so, I want, you guys have been there so much for me and so I just want to share this with you guys and going to be sharing, you know, the journey back um, and it'll be tough and I know it's going to be tough um, and I know it's different than my shoulder surgery but like, you know, like I came back from that better and um, so I know I'll get through this. It's just going to be tough and there's still so much I can do. I'm actually going to the gym today. Um, for the first time since uh, I tore it, um, just to do some upper body stuff, um, mostly just for my sanity, um, and just to get out of my apartment, honestly. Um, the good thing is I still have tons of schoolwork <laughs> that I need to focus on, so that will keep me very busy, and it might just speed up uh, when I can start uh, working a data position hopefully so that would be really cool for now you know i might be down but i'm definitely not out it's a little bit of a roller coaster right now as you can see through this video um 
going through being super, super sad. Um, and then just being grateful that I, I know I will come back and, um, you know, grateful that I still, that I have family nearby. My mom's going to take me to the gym today. <laughs> That's, um, going to be a huge help and just, uh, yeah, that I can still, I can still go work out. It's tougher. It's not crutches suck. <laughs> um, uh, it's just harder to move around. Everything takes a lot longer, um, but that's okay. Again, in the grand scheme of things, you gotta put things in perspective sometimes. Um, just, again, a huge reminder, not that I feel like I did before, but, you know, I think it's easy to, when it comes to, you know, your own fitness journey, whatever it is, you know, the option to get to go into a gym or work out at home or to make the choices in your life to better your health. Um, those are gifts, each and every one of them. And I'm not going to lie, there are some days where I walked into a gym and to train and I'm like, man, I just, yeah, this is going to be tough or I don't want to be here today. And it's like, it's those little moments where then something like this happens and you're like, shit, <laughs> like give anything to have just a sh you know shitty day at the gym or be tired at the gym or um, anything like that but I, I have faith um, you know that this will all work out the way it's supposed to but I just wanted to share that with you guys um, and yeah and I'll be sharing you know all the rehab and whatnot and which I'll be doing with my coach Ian and yeah and that'll be super super important um, obviously the surgery is very important, but the, I would say like with my shoulder, I mean, I had a great surgeon and he did an amazing job. I would say what I did afterwards was equally important, um, just to get to where I am now with my shoulder. Um, so I know how important that's going to be and just staying on top of everything I can to make this thing heal as fast as possible. So not only my rehab, but sleeping well, which has been pretty tough just cause I'm pretty uncomfortable um, most of the night <laughs> or I just yeah I'm a side sleeper especially on my right side and it's super uncomfortable to sleep on that side right now but but I can still sleep so sleeping a lot eating well uh, trust me I've wanted to just be like F it in part of my language but and just eat cookies and ice cream and stuff but I know that's not gonna be good for my knee in the long run so being good about that but get through this. Again, gonna be um, a different year than I was expecting. But yeah, that's, that's okay. I know that, you know, it's always, I think there's a Steve Jobs uh, quote about being able to connect the dots looking backwards. It's pretty hard to connect them looking <laughs> forwards. Um, and I know that through my athletic career, all the speed bumps and obstacles I've had to get through served their purpose and, you know, have made me the athlete, the person I am today. And I wouldn't trade those. Um, I'm sure at the time I would have. Um, so just like this one. So I don't understand it now, but I know that this will make me stronger, both physically, mentally, and so I just have to believe that. And as much as, yeah, I mean, I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty easy to, I think when I first found out, um, kind of put myself back into when I found out about my shoulder and how hard that was to go through. I also, I'm like a very different person than I was back then when I went through that. And I not only feel stronger now, but I'm also, I just have such, amazing people around me. I was actually with Carlo when it all happened and he was just amazing. And he's been through uh, lots of injuries before to, so to have someone um, there um, to care for you and support um, and just, you know, gets what this is like is really helpful as well. Um, and again, like I said, having my family out here will be huge. Yeah, Lambo said she would keep me company post-surgery, so we'll be snuggle buddies. I just wanna say thank you again to you guys. I feel like I don't say it enough, but you guys mean a lot to me. And again, thank you for continuing to stick with me and follow along through 
so much craziness in their life's ups and downs and um yeah and it'll it'll all be good so for now i'm gonna start getting ready for the gym not going for like another two hours but it's gonna take me quite a long time to get ready um <laughs> probably not two hours but we'll start and then i've got some uh some school stuff to to do but um but yeah it's gonna be a good day i'll keep you guys posted especially on instagram um through like surgery date all that stuff well i hope you guys are having an awesome day awesome week and if you're not just know that you'll get through it whatever it is you're going through and you're tougher and stronger than you think you are and i will see you guys in the next one <laughs>